You ever have those uh, two in the morning days where you're like, I really should be asleep right now, but your body just decides to be not only awake, but the most awoke it's ever been. You get out of bed, you question your life, you're like, holy frick, it's two in the morning, I should probably be quiet, I'm gonna terrorize my roommates, but you know, you, you don't become a world-class waterholic ninja and then not beat people up if they get in your way. So, uh, yeah, this is a drawing video that is, <laughs> it's interesting because it's actually the exact opposite problem that I had with the other one. So you see, I made a breakdown video of Rosalina uh, because the footage actually got corrupted. Now that's not the case with this one. This one actually has 17 hours of footage from start to finish. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if any of you use Premiere, but you upload 17 hours of anything to any software, it will get angry at you. So I figured what I could do is like cut bits out, just the minute repetitious bits. It's like, yeah, you know what filling in a color block looks like, you know what like me redoing some random part of the drawing looks like. So we're trying to be smart with this. I just figured record everything in case, you know, something significant happens, but then just cut it down to the most essential bits and that'll be the speed paint. Cause um, I don't know how many people that watch these videos actually do speed paints. Um, but if you speed it up too much because there's too much footage, it just flies all over and you can't even tell what's going on. You know, it, you don't even really see the drawing part of it. You just see a canvas furiously zooming in and out and it makes no sense. So, you know, I cut bits of it out here and there, so hopefully it's like a more clean presentation. It'll be like, oh, you know, when I'm working on the face, it's like the last face that it's actually gonna be. No, the face I drew before I decided to redo it. And, you know, a lot of other stuff because, you know, I'm still figuring out painterly style, so I tend to redo things a lot. Um, so if you just see like a random jump in details, it's like, oh yeah, that that's either not the final or, um, He's dumb. So yeah, with this drawing, it's actually interesting because I redid it three times. <laughs> um, you know, I drew Rosalina and I started with Rosalina just because she's my favorite um, Mario princess. I was going to say Disney princess, but <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so she's my favorite Mario princess. And then I figured before I draw Peach, which is my second favorite, I should just get the hardest one out of the way, which is Daisy. And that's just because... I think your design is kind of plain. I hope you guys don't hate me for saying that, but I see your design and it's like really straightforward and plain to a point where I actually found it a little bit boring. So I was like, how can I draw Daisy, but in my style and make it look cool? Um, and also, you know, like still recognizable as Daisy. I hope you could tell this is Daisy. <laughs> was it overkill? I don't care. <laughs> but, you know, I was still going with the same deal of, oh, you know, overly fancy dresses. I guess that's just going to be the theme of these speed paints in general. And uh, I was thinking, like, how would her hair work if it was, like, more manga-y? So I, you know, I, I got the base, I got the reference, and I was like, how the heck does this work? So it's like, yeah, I, I made three different drawings. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not talking like, oh, they're quick sketches. No, they were like refined and set to the point where they were ready to color. And I was like, I made the first one. It wasn't dynamic enough. I made the second one, still not dynamic enough. And then I made this last one. And, you know, I, I was on a roll with this one. Um, it's interesting how you don't need to fight a drawing when you actually know what you're doing. Because with the first two, I fought it and kept reworking it and didn't know what I was going to do. But then I got like a really clear idea of what I was going to do for the last one. Because one of the reference images I found on Google was just her like winking and being sassy. I was like, we could make her sassy. I can do that. So that's what I did. I made the drawing and then I made her sassy and then it all just flew together. And I was like, perfect. <laughs> um... And I do actually really like how the drawing turned out, um, especially the background. It's a shame that in the final image you gotta blur it, but you know, sometimes for the sake of context, you just gotta do that or just not spend seven freaking hours on the background. Um, I actually have a really cool process about that that I'll include in a breakdown video um, that will be on Patreon. So if you're curious as to how I did the background and stuff or just the whole process for this, you know, you can check that out. 
but yeah that background was something else like i drew it um and then i painted it and you know it's i i like the way it looks i had the idea of her inside of a castle but then when i realized she was inside of the castle i needed to rework the lighting because before it was like oh she's outside and maybe slightly backlit and then it's like oh she's in a castle so she's really backlit and um yeah, it, it's cool. It's it looks great. You know, I'm just looking at the drawing. I'm like, yep, that's a that's a cool draw. <laughs> I hope that uh, the peach one can keep up because now I have two ridiculously complicated drawings. Um, I think this drawing took 18 hours total, not because Daisy was that bad. It's just I spent almost as much time on the background as I did on her. You could probably tell. Like, I think it's funny. You'll probably look at this and be like, "Oh, it's a it's it's a stock image." You know, if you didn't know better, oh, just some stock image from Google. I'm like, <laughs> you don't know how things work, here, do you? But yeah, I am. Um, I do actually really like how this drawing turned out. It was a lot of fun to do. It was kind of a detail fest, but I try to make it make sense. Like the daisy patterns on the bodice and the bottom part of the dress. That's a custom daisy pattern that I decided to make. Um, been making a lot of patterns for drawings lately but yeah i i do like how it turned out i'm you know i finally got it to a point where i was happy with and i finished and i don't know I, it it feels nice you know it's like i don't really do weekly speed paints um which is probably murder for youtube analytics but i do feel like i get to make a lot bigger stuff for that reason it's like i'm not on a weekly uploading schedule so whatever i do work on you know i can take my time with and i can make something like ridiculous and out of the blue and you know you hate yourself for it a little bit but at the end of the day you look at the drawing and you're like eh, crap i like how it turned out which means it was worth it which makes me hate myself because now i'm gonna do it again <laughs> But, um, yeah, I, I really do like how this drawing turned out. But enough of that. What do you guys think of the drawing? Do you think that the sassy style suits Daisy? Could you even tell it was Daisy? And, um, also, I am still taking requests and stuff. Because, like I said, I'm making a bunch of drawings so I can set up, like, prints. Um, my plan for that is, you know, make a bunch of drawings and then pick the best ones to be print. So I'm trying to make every single one be print quality, but then we'll actually like, I'll settle that later. I'm thinking around like halfway through this year when I have enough drawings and I've gotten good enough at a painterly style, then I'll look into which ones I want to do. Um, but yeah, if you have any suggestions for drawings and stuff, you know, let me know. I am currently taking suggestions. I think it's actually interesting because I am one of those people that draws my original characters all the time. Like, it's not hard for me to come up with designs, but it is fun to have your own take on an established character. You know, it's like, oh, this is my version of Daisy. And I don't know. I find it fun. It's a lot funner than I thought because originally it didn't do that much fan art because I was like... Oh, yeah, um, draw this character looking like this, and that's about it. And it was kind of boring, because you already know what the end result will look like. But it's fun to add a spin on it, because then you don't know. So if you have any um, character suggestions for me, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I do read through them all. I don't usually do speed paints on a weekly basis, but I am trying to make the drawings as consistently high quality as possible. So if you're interested in seeing what other stuff I'm working on, like the in-betweens, maybe the other two attempts at this drawing that I had, then I'm going to go ahead and have those and a breakdown video of how I did everything in this drawing, like the background and whatnot, on Patreon. So I'll go ahead and link that there if that's something you're interested in checking out. And thanks again for watching the video. Bye!